Account bans are bad. Most of the time they don't happen without a reason and if you're not doing anything shady, you might not even have to go through such an experience. But there are situations when no matter the fact that you are abiding to all the rules, you might still get banned. It can happen because your growth is too fast or because they suddenly realize that they don't support your type of business. If you have a lot of disputes or chargebacks, they can ban you. Legal information mismatches like different addresses for your company, PayPal accounts and banking information will get you in trouble as well. If you have unfulfilled orders and lots of customer complaints, all this will get you in trouble and at risk. But the one that is the most annoying to understand is when you get banned because you logged in from a different location than usual. Let's say you're traveling because you worked hard and you build a business. All you have to do is log in once in a while and check on your stats and check on your theme. Easy, right? But wait. Shopify, PayPal, Amazon, all these big platforms have their own requirements when it comes to logins. You log in from different locations, you can get flagged and your accounts can get closed. I know, right? This kind of freezes can take up anywhere from days to months time in which you cannot run your business. You lose a lot of time trying to reach someone to help you and all that time your money will be frozen as well. Not to mention that you can even lose those accounts for good, including your hard earned money. But you don't have to get there and I'm going to show you how you can avoid this situation altogether. I had a couple of customers of mine with multi-store setups come to me for advice on how to manage all these accounts. And luckily, after some serious digging around, I found just the solution. You don't have to use VPN or VPS anymore. This solution I'm going to show you will create a unique browser environment for each of these problematic accounts and that platform will never know that you are actually traveling. They will always see the same browser with the same configuration. Let me show you. So this is the website of the app I'm going to talk about. If you go to zebra.com, you're going to see this page. And if you scroll down, you're going to see a comparison with VPS. If you've been using VPS to manage your multiple accounts, then you know that you're going to get a dedicated IP. You get that with Zebra as well. You're going to get secured management on both of them. Speed, in terms of speed, you know that if you're working on a VPS, which stands for virtual private server, you're gonna have some trouble running things. A VPS can get clunky at times where with Zbird you get everything on your machine, on your computer, and it runs like a browser, like Chrome would. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. You can of course have multiple users log into your VPS using the same credentials, but that's not a good practice. A Zbird has a nice user management system built in. The file management system on a VPS also can get messy on Zbird, everyone gets their own space, so you don't get files from anyone else in your own space. And there are other advantages here, you can check those out, you can read everything about Zbird, but most important, go ahead and download the app on your computer and have that installed. And once you do, you're gonna get something looking like this. So this is the Zbird dashboard before setting anything up. You get this window here and you get the sidebar. And how Zbird works is that you're gonna have to go and create a profile for each of your accounts. So for example, if you have multiple Shopify stores, if you have multiple PayPal's, if you have multiple Amazon stores in different areas, in different selling areas, then you can go ahead and create one of these profiles for each of them and then set this profile to the best practices that are required by those platforms. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new profile and as you know, these platforms that we talk about, they have certain requirements. So I'm gonna create a new profile for my PayPal account. Let's say I have multiple PayPal accounts. I will have to create one of these profiles for each of them so that whenever I log into that PayPal account, PayPal will always see the same fingerprint for my browser. For that, I'm going to select Chrome and then I'm gonna select Mac as my operating system. And then I'm going to add my profile group. If you have multiple organizations, let's say you have multiple companies, you have two companies and they both have their own PayPal account, you want to group them and have them organized and you can do that in here. I'm gonna select this one, but you can also leave it empty if you just have one organization. So if you have one company, if you have multiples, you can name them and group your 
profiles by the company and then i'm going to just confirm if you want to enable the encryption you can do that as well i'm going to just confirm as it is and now i've created one profile you can go ahead and name this and now this is the profile meant to be used with that PayPal account. In order to add the PayPal account to this profile, I'm going to go here to accounts and you can click on edit and you can add in here the information and the credentials for this particular account. So I'm going to go and select PayPal. And as you can see, they have here a lot of uh, platforms. Amazon is known for account bans and account freezes. TikTok Shop, Lazada, Shopify, they all have some issues sometimes. So if you have accounts with these platforms, you can easily set a profile for them and they will never know that you are logging in from a different location. So I'm going to go at the bottom here where PayPal is. And Stripe is also known for this. A lot of Stripe accounts get blocked and sometimes you cannot even recover them. And that's a shame. You can avoid that by using a system like this. So I'm going to go and I'm going to select PayPal and I'm going to select the United Kingdom section because this is the closest to me. If you are closer to any of the other, choose that. If you would have chose a Shopify account, you didn't have to choose a location. But some of these have options for where in the world you are closest to. And in my case, for this PayPal account, I'm going to choose United Kingdom and I'm going to add my username and my password. Now you have some other options in here. Make sure to check them out and choose the ones that you want. And after you do that, you can go ahead and confirm. And now the profile was created. Whenever I want to go ahead and log in to my PayPal account, I can just go here and click on start. And this will open a browser window in which I can go ahead and operate my PayPal account. And from now on, if I just use this to log into my PayPal account, the fingerprint of the browser will always be the same. So I don't have to worry that PayPal might detect some changes. I'm going to just click start and I'm going to have a browser window open. And we have now a reminder that this works better with a proxy and I'm going to talk about proxies in just a second. A different proxy will allow you to have a different IP as well, which will increase drastically your privacy. And that is actually the best setup you can have for your business. But I'm going to continue without a proxy for now and I'm going to show you how a proxy would work. So I'm going to say continue to use and I'm just going to click on start here and a new browser window will open and this is not my Chrome. This is a Chrome that comes out of Zbird and now this is the login info for my PayPal. If I click it, I see that I have a password saved already for this account. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to click on next and now the password was automatically filled up and I click on login. And now I'm going to get a text to verify that it's me and I'm going to click submit. And from now on, I can use Zbird to log in to this PayPal account safely every time. I can go ahead and operate your account, do whatever you have to do in it. This is obviously an older account that I had. And whenever you're done, you can either just close the window or go back to Zbird and click on stop. And this will close up that window and you're done. If I would have to go and use my actual Google Chrome that I have installed on my laptop for doing that and I have like three, four PayPal accounts, those can get mixed up because this is the same browser. So if I have multiple accounts on the same browser, the cookies are kept in the same place and things can get wrong. But if you have Zbird, you only log into this PayPal account with this profile. So if I go now and I click start, I just open that new browser that is dedicated to this account. So it's like having a device or a tablet. Let's say you have a tablet in your house that is dedicated to be used only with this PayPal account. Whenever you're done, you close the tablet, you put it there and you only pick it back up whenever you want to log in back to this PayPal account. This is powerful stuff. As you can see, whenever I go and I click start, the window opens 
and I'm directly logged in like this was the same session. All the cookies from PayPal will get saved on this version of the browser and I don't have to worry about any mix-ups or any conflicts. Imagine you have your organization set in Zbird and you have all your accounts in here. You will have a unique profile for each of those accounts and those platforms will get the same information every time you log in and there will be no mix-ups. Now going forward to proxies, if you want to have a dedicated IP so that you always log in from the same IP no matter where you are in the world, you will need a proxy and you can buy that from other companies, you already may have one, if you have one you can go ahead and use it in here and you can add one or you can add multiples or you can go ahead and purchase one from Zbird. If you click on this button, here you can see the details of the proxies that they offer. You can select a residential proxy. You can have it in North America, you can have it in Europe. I'm gonna go ahead with Europe and I'm gonna select UK. And you can go ahead and select the period of time you want this proxy for. Maybe you are traveling for two months, for three months, or six months, you can select here the period and then this proxy will be available for you all that time. And what the proxy does is to offer you a unique IP and always whenever you're gonna log in from one of your profiles, you're gonna show that you are in that location. So for example, now if I go and I start again this profile, first I'm gonna see this window where I have my IP. This is my actual IP and I'm going to blur it, but this is my IP here. But if you're gonna travel, this IP will change and that can create issues. So in addition for that unique browser fingerprint you have for PayPal, you may want to always show the same IP as well so that you tell them that you are in the same place even though you're not. So in order to not show your real IP in here, you're gonna have to go ahead and purchase a proxy. So I'm gonna show you now a different account where I have a proxy installed and as you can see, you can have multiple organizations. So if you have different companies with different branches, you can have them all set up in here. I'm gonna to go to this different account and I'm gonna show you how a proxy would look like. So we have this profiles created on this account. If I go here and I start this one, for example, this one is set in North America. And once it's started, I'm gonna get this window where I see my IP. And I have these two other tabs open here because I left them open in my last session. So you're gonna have this saved for you. Whenever you return, you're gonna see the windows that you had open. And if I go here to the first tab, this is always open. So Zbird opens always this as your first tab so that you can see where you are. And this is the IP that I have. As you can see, now I am uh, located in the US magically. So if I go to a different IP checker, I'm still there. So the same information is shown. If I refresh this one, the same information. If I go to Google, for example, and this works as a normal browser. This is actually Chrome, but is simulating as being run from there. So I'm gonna just search here, where am I? And this will give me the exact location. So right now I should be located in California but I'm actually not. So if I go to my actual Chrome browser, which is on my computer, and I type the same thing, it's going to show my actual location. So this is where I actually am, and this is where Zbird is placing me. So each of these profiles are personalized for these applications and they use settings that remove the possibility of you getting banned. So if I go to this one, which has a China proxy, if I go and I start it, I'm going to get the same browser window from Zbird. Now I'm gonna get here that I am in China and this is Amazon Seller Center for China. If I go here, I see that I am in China. If I go to Google and I type, where am I? It's going to tell me that I am in Hong Kong. And this is how this works. So you're gonna be able to create this personalized browser experiences for each of your platforms. You can use settings that you know that platform requires or likes. You can go ahead and personalize these profiles to give just the right signals to the platforms so that you never ever get in trouble. If you want to install extensions to your browser experiences, you can do it from here. If you want to add a team member, you can go ahead and add them 
from here you just click on this button add their email and then select the, the member role they have let me go to the other account to show you all the roles they have so i'm going to go to teams and i'm going to invite someone and in here going to add the email and then you have administrator manager employee and they all have different types of permissions check them out and decide for yourself what permissions you want to give to whom if you want to try out Zbird, go to zbird.com or check out the details in the description. So this is how you can actually get away with traveling and having multi-store setups. Just have Zbird installed and create unique profiles for all the platforms that you're using. And those platforms, they will never know that you are moving around. Staying safe from account bans is really important. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Shopify tips. And I think you'll be interested in seeing this video next.